Last night we've received another Counter-Strike 2 update, which once again brings quite a few bug fixes to the game, as well as some small quality of life improvements. As always, of course, the timestamps for the video are in the description down below, so if you're looking for something specific, feel free to skip ahead. And without any further delays, now let's dive into today's update video. Before we go over the latest patch, let's briefly go back to one of the patch notes from the 11th of June, specifically the one where Valve fixed the case where the weapon animations would play incorrectly when inspecting while reloading. In my original video, I was not entirely sure what Valve had changed with this one, but one of you guys came in clutch and pointed it out in the comments of that video, so special thanks for that. This patch note was referring specifically to the Scout and the AWP, as before this update you were able to skip the reload animation by simply holding down the inspect key. For those of you that enjoyed skipping the animations, it is still possible even after this update, instead of holding down the inspect key, you can now start spamming it instead, which will still skip the animation. So technically this isn't really fixed Valve. Anyways, now with that out of the way, let's talk about today's patch. Starting off with a quality of life improvement, as Valve added a new option for the Team ID overhead mode. Before this update, you only had two choices as far as I'm aware. Either you were able to get all of the info on your teammates, like their weapon, health and name, or the second option which gave you all of the info except the weapon icon. With this brand new option they've added, it allows you to basically hide all of the info except the small team icon, so the triangle, which you can see on screen right now. Alongside with this, you can also see the free commands that allow you to change that. When you set it to free, it's going to be all of the information, two is going to be without the weapon icon, and one is going to be just the triangle. And for those of you that want to adjust the transparency when hovering with your crosshair over your teammates, that command is also once again on screen, just in case. Anyways, moving on to the bug fixes. The bomb interaction with water was specifically fixed on overpass, as before this update the bomb behaved very bizarrely. As you can see it was constantly splashing in the water, basically like a fish out of water, and occasionally beeping as well, which is pretty hilarious to be honest. And this is how it looks like after this update. A gap was also fixed on Nuke's bomb side B, which I'm not entirely sure which one Valve refers to with this, as the gaps I spotted myself still remained even after this update. As an example, the one near ramp, which you can see on screen right now. There's a few gaps on the bomb side itself, and these floating crates. Valve, please fix them. We've also apparently received a fix for the lighting of two main menu sceneries, Nuke and Warehouse, and I really tried my best here to find any issues with both of the inspect screen as well as the main menu ones, but I was unable to find anything, so I'm once again not sure what Valve has done here. If you know anything about either of these two changes, feel free to leave a comment down below, it would be very much appreciated. Last but certainly not least, we've received various localization updates, and alongside with this a pretty funny bug fix, where Valve ended up fixing a bug with the bots, which allowed them to teleport long distances when approaching ladders. I'm not entirely sure, but I think they're referring to this specific bug, which you can see on screen right now. So yeah, in CS2 the bots, instead of walking up ladders, they, they decide to teleport to them. I'm not entirely sure if I remember this incorrectly, but I think even in CSGO they instead walked up the ladders, and I feel like even in CS2 this used to work, but maybe I remembered it incorrectly. At least it seems like now they teleport shorter distances than before. There also seems to be a brand new bug, which I encountered after this update. After tabbing out of the game and going back into it, I was experiencing these pretty bizarre stutters. If you've noticed something similar, feel free to leave a comment down below, it would be very much appreciated. Well, this already concludes today's video. I hope it was informative and enjoyable to watch, if it was feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing, and as always of course, I will see you in the next video, bye guys.